Welcome to Tekken Swords. My name is Marcus Fernstrom, and today I'm going to show you how to create a REST API using Free Pascal and Lazarus. So go ahead and start up Lazarus. And project, new project. We're going to use the program setting. And it looks like this. Let's go ahead and rename the project. Let's call you REST example. And we can get rid of the classes. We're not going to use that. We are going to use sysutils. We're going to use FBA GTP app, which is the server application itself. We're going to be using HTTP devs, which include the response and requests. We're also going to use HTTP route to deal with the routing of incoming requests. First thing we want to set is the application.port and let's run you on 9090. Next, let's uh, register our routes. Register route. And the first router is going to be the JSON endpoint. And we're going to look for get. So this is uh, route method get. So a standard HTTP get request. And let's call you JSON endpoint. Let's also create a catch all endpoint. This is useful for dealing with 404s. So HTTP router dot register route. And let's call you catch all. And you will listen for all types of requests. Catch all endpoint. And we're setting the is default to true. By setting the is default to true, this is the procedure that's going to run if no other route matches. A good default to use is also to set the application dot threaded to true. And let's initialize. Finally, almost finally, let's show a message when the server is ready. So server is ready at localhost. String application dot port. And finally, application dot run to actually run the server. So if we try to run this now, of course we see JSON endpoint and catch all endpoints don't exist yet. So let's go ahead and create those. Let's start with the catch all endpoint. So it is a procedure. First is a request of type T request and a response, which is of type T response. So in our catch all, we're just going to respond to the user with a message saying this endpoint is unavailable. To do that, we need to set the content of the response. And let's just set that to this endpoint is not available. We need to set the response code. In this case, that is a 404 page not found. We need to set the content type. So that's going to be text plain. We also need to set the content length. And that's going to be the length of a response dot. And finally, we actually send the response. Now, let's give this a run. So let's just comment this out. And I hit run. And you get a window like this. Server is ready at localhost 9090. To test this, I'm going to use the Embarcadero REST debugger looks like this, and you can get it at the Embarcadero website. There's going to be a link below for this. So to actually test this, let's go ahead and localhost 9090. You see we're not typing in the catch-all path. Right, so we got a 404 page not found, and the body is this endpoint is not available. Let's go ahead and stop the server. 
And let's create our JSON endpoint. Let's comment this out. And we can just copy this. JSON endpoint. So let's first create a JSON block. Everything is great. Now the HTTP code for everything is okay is 200. And the MIME type, content type, is application JSON. Now if we go ahead and run this, oh, ah, I have a typo. Okay, let's run this and see if we get our JSON data. We are running the server and let's go to our rest debugger tool and hit send request. And as you can see, I have a typo. So we still get the 404 message. This endpoint is not available. If we don't typo, we should get everything is great. And as you can see, the content is valid JSON. In the headers, you can see the application content type and everything is A-OK. -okay. And that is all it takes to create a REST API in Free Pascal on Lazarus. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to dynamically create JSON data on the fly. If you like my videos, articles, open source libraries, and so on, please feel free to check me out on Patreon. Anything and everything is appreciated. Thank you. Yeah.